Afternoon, Dean. Afternoon, Dan. How are you? I'm good, yourself? Yeah, very good, thank you. Good. First time we've spoken since we officially confirmed a place in the playoffs. If I'd have said to you that was uh, the outcome on the 1st of March, what would you have said? I'd have said we'll have to take it one game at a time. <laughs> and, uh, and we've done that and we've managed to, to get into the playoffs. Um, but from the outset, as I said, when I first came into the job, our aim was to, to try and finish in the top six, top two if we could. We haven't managed to do that, um, but we got into the top six, which is very pleasing and um, still gives us a chance to, to get promoted. Were there moments where you thought it was going to be a, a stretch too far and it was about building for next season? No, to be honest, I've, I've always been I'm quite optimistic by nature. So I've always believed in the squad of players that we've got. Um, we've had a, a, we had a run of results end of December, January, where... You know, there were reasons for it. I didn't want to make excuses, but when you were playing the back four of three right backs, you know, it certainly weren't con conducive of getting getting results. And, you know, we didn't lose many games, but um, we didn't win games that we should have. Um, and ultimately, it, you know, uh, probably paid, paid its price of not finishing in the top two. But, you know, this run that we're on at the moment has um, certainly catapulted us into them positions and to... To have got to the playoffs, you know, two games ahead of the, the end of the regular season is, you know, um, a tribute to the, the efforts of the players. What's been the highlight of this record-breaking streak for you? The consistency. Um, you know, when I first came in, you know, I wanted the culture at the football club to be one where, you know, we don't get too high when we win and we don't get too low when we lose. Um, and just being consistent in, in how we approach things day to day. And uh, I feel we've got a really good environment here now. Um, you know, training, I said after the game on, on Monday, players are pushing each other. You know, uh, day before the game, I've got players going nose to nose. And when you've got that, you know there's a, a real competitive nature, you know, to the training and they're pushing each other. Has it been a challenge to remind everyone that the, the job is far from complete? No, not at all. Um, the players know that, you know, just getting into the playoffs is not the be-all and end-all. The, the be-all and end-all is um, to try and get promoted. Um, unfortunately, you know, as a football club, we lost at the final hurdle last year. And, you know, that's, uh, you know, in the memory banks for quite a few people here. Um, but there's an awful lot of belief about the place at the moment. Um, players, supporters alike um, and staff. And there's a lot of smiles on the faces at the moment as well, which... I think it's very important because there's uh, a, a, a great togetherness throughout the whole club. And what's your feeling on them, the playoffs themselves, knockout football now over the next three weeks? To be honest, I'm not constrained on it at the moment. Uh, I've got Leeds United first on, on Sunday um, and my concentration is totally on that. Um, still two points behind West Bromwich Albion. Uh, our aim is to try and finish above them if we can. So, you know, uh, we'll have a good idea, you know, how results have gone on Saturday before we play Leeds United and, and so will Leeds United and uh, our aim is to try and finish above West Bromwich Albion at the moment. And do plans change then at all in, in terms of the way you approach these, these next two? No, the, the approach is the same for Leeds United. Um, you know, uh, although we've qualified for the playoffs, obviously there's, um, there's a league regulation about fielding, you know, uh, strong teams anyway. So, you know... Um, we have to manage were loads of some players, we know that, uh, and we're doing that constantly anyway. So we'll continue to, to keep our eye on that, but also try and win the next game. And Leeds will probably know where they stand come Sunday afternoon. Do you think that'll impact the, the intensity of the game? Um, I don't think so. Uh, I think the way um, Marcello Bielsa is, is programmed is to try and win each game and they have a certain style that they, they try to do that and it'll be a real tough game for us. Um, but the way we're programmed is exactly the same as well, is to win each game we play. You said Tammy probably wouldn't be ready for that one, but Axel maybe, is that still the case? Yeah, no, Tammy won't play on, on Sunday. Axel's available, he's trained uh, the last couple of days, so he's fine. And in terms of the centre-back dilemma, you could have as many as six available to you over the next month. Uh, How do you deal with that? Uh, It'd be a nice one to deal with, that's for sure. Uh, James Chester's back training now. Um, Tommy Elphick was back on the bench. Mille, uh has played really well at centre back, so it gives me, you know, food for, for thought. Um, Courtney Howes will probably not be ready for Sunday, but will be ready for the Norwich game. And 
that's what I want. I want you know uh, players fit. I want a full squad to choose from, and it certainly gives us great strength in depth then as well. Uh, any other updates on the on the fitness front? People like Lovre. Uh, Lovre should start training on Monday as well, so uh, he should be back to be ready on the bench, you know, uh, or or to start a game for Norwich and and the playoffs. So again, uh, more strength in depth. Just lastly, great to see Tammy and Jack in the PFA Team of the Year. Tammy, perhaps not a surprise, but Jack, does that just reflect the quality given how much football he's missed? Yeah, I think he missed 14 games of the season, didn't he? So uh, it just shows what you know his peers think of him. Um, you know, I always think it's one of probably the, the the great things for a player to achieve is when your peers have voted for you. So um, it's a great Philippe for both Tammy and and Jack to get voted into that Team of the Year. Cheers, Dean. Thank you. Cheers, thanks.